Hi, this is John Pullum with an online viewer's question. I wanted to answer this question on video because I think it would be helpful for a lot of people watching this and not only just the person that wrote me the email off of my website. The question is from Jennifer. Jennifer is from San Diego. She's having an event not this October, but next October in Orlando, Florida. And she's looking for a motivational speaker in Orlando, Florida. And her question is, our event schedule is packed. Would it be all right if you did your presentation during dinner? Before I answer that question, I want to say a couple of things. Number one, Jennifer, I think it's just great that you are planning this far in advance. Companies like yours, people like you that plan things in advance, usually get just about everything they're looking for in a corporate event because you're planning that far in advance. Companies that wait, people that wait until last minute, the hall is not available, hotels aren't available, rental cars aren't available, the speaker's already booked, and it's, it's really tough for them. So thank you so much for planning ahead, and I am actually available, I already checked, for the date that you're interested in. So I'll be giving you a call, and we'll be discussing all the details. Number two, you're having an event in Orlando, Florida in October. I also think that's wonderful because it's not in July or August when it can be scorching hot and miserable for your guests to walk around. Still wonderful weather in October, but not nearly as hot as it would have been in July or August. So your timing is great. Your time of year is great. The location is wonderful. I love Orlando, so everything's wonderful. But Jennifer, to have my presentation during dinner really never works out well because I am an interactive speaker. I'm in and out of your audience. I'm dealing with people on stage and off stage. And having that during dinner when the waiters and waitresses are walking around, the banquet staff is walking around getting plates or passing out more plates, everything gets in the way. If I ask somebody to come up on stage, which I will, some of your guests will be up on stage with me. By the time they get back, their dinner will be cold. Perhaps the banquet staff already took away their plate and they'll go hungry. So it never works out well. If you want some entertainment, something nice, just get a little jazz trio during dinner or a DJ or a band, something that they can clap every couple minutes after the song's done if they want to, but it doesn't have that audience participation like speakers like myself have in their presentations. So if you have it after dinner or even before dinner, or I could even do a morning session like a breakfast entertainment after breakfast, something to, to get everybody motivated for the rest of the day, that would work out well. But during any meal, I would say no. I would just say no. I've, I've done it once before when a person really, really needed it, and it didn't work out that well because once again, so they just couldn't react. They couldn't eat. They couldn't laugh. They couldn't. It was, it was just tough for everybody. So plan it another time or hire me for the following year. So thank you very much for your question. Hopefully it has saved a lot of people, other people watching this some, some time wondering about the same thing. If you have any questions, like Jennifer, you can either fill out the comment form below or you can go to my website at pullum.com, P-U-L-L-U-M.com and fill out the form there and ask me any question you want for your event. I look forward to working with you and please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can check out more videos when you're on Pullum.com. Also sign up for my newsletter. I give you some great corporate event planning tips that could literally save you thousands of dollars in planning your event. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.